The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. Today we're talking football, American football of all things. And ironically, a rap legend, our hip hop mogul, Snoop Dogg, graces the silver screen in this film called Underdogs, where he stars as a coach and a washed up former NFL player. It's really touching, it's really compelling. Uh, he plays a character called JJ, uh, two J's, uh, really. Uh, the film is really interesting. It's about ups and downs. It's about becoming uh, better than you were, you know. From being a selfish person to being a wholesome family-oriented man. And of course, re-killing some old high school. It's really beautiful. And of course, instilling and making kids proud and happy about themselves. At the same time, uh, destroying your rival with beauty. So, yeah, it's a really good, compelling film. And I think everyone should watch this. Of course, if you want your kids to watch a film with a lot of profanity. My God, this film has so much profanity. I've never seen a kid's film with so much profanity. And I'm asking myself, was this film made for adults or for kids? Because, man, there's a lot of cursing in Like, a lot. Like, I could have counted the number of times I heard bitches and titties, but... I didn't. Maybe it's something I should have done. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's a really good film. I enjoyed it. It's a bit cliche in a way. And I wish uh, the part, I really wish that, you know, Trey would have been Snoop Dogg's character or JJ's kid in the end. That would have been the icing on the cake. But nonetheless, it worked out great. So, yeah. Uh, washed up celebrity gets community service and makes a bunch of kids in the neighborhood happy. That's really it. You know, he achieves his goal. Of course, we've seen movies like this before. There have been tons of movies like this before. Where um, a great coach or a great former great player comes to coach this team that sucks. And then when they're about to reach the finals, he gets his big Hollywood break. Everybody wants a piece of him now. And he supposedly abandons the people that got him to where he wanted to be, to be where he wants to be. And when he gets there, it's not as great as he thought it was. Ah, narts. And he goes back to the little league and coaches the team to glory. But ironically, they didn't do that here, which is very odd, but interesting nonetheless. So, I will say I enjoyed it. I really did. And of course, it's a star-studded film, really. It's got a lot. It's got George Lopez, Andrew Schwartz in there. I don't know if I'm saying that nigga's name right. But he had a weird arm mustache in there. Uh, Mike Ebbs, Snoop Dogg himself. Uh, and Tika Stumpert, if I'm saying that name. Stumpert. I don't know how to even say that. Whatever. You got what I'm saying. Sims May, Cal Penn. Just to name a few. So, it is a really good film. It's an hour... 36 minutes long so it's a sports and comedy film Snoop Dogg's acting was a bit off uh, it was not that great but it was a decent movie it was a decent movie but I guess it was not that great in the sense that he was supposed to act arrogant and shit okay I'll put it in simple terms his acting was better when he was an asshole when he started to becoming a good guy, I didn't like it. It, it seemed a bit cringe, seemed a bit put off, a bit um, cliche-ish, a bit off, a bit... It didn't seem like it was acting uh, backed by a big um, Hollywood studio like Amazon MGM Studios or something. You know, like... But then again, it's really good in the sense that Snoop Dogg did his thing. Right? He did his thing. He did his thing. It's pretty cool. It's directed by Charles Stone III. I really don't. I usually don't give these details because I really don't know what to say. Uh, besides, the kids start off horrible and they become great towards the end. They, but they curse a lot. Oh my god, I've never seen so much curse. So, if you have no problems with what your kids are watching, people say, bitch, fuck and all that, go watch it with your kids. Yeah, but if you're really just looking for a great story to watch that is about to, and I don't know if they're calling it underdog, 
they become shit and then they never become great. They just become together. You know, they were apart because everybody was being a prick. In the end, they're not pricks. They're actually decent people. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know what else you need me to say. Go watch it. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.